My friends, do you want to become pro footballers? Well, of course you do, that's not a question. And we are going to help you out today. I brought Nick in from Train Effective. Thanks for coming, man. Cheers, Jay. And he's got you covered. I got the three most effective drills you can do individually at home today. So let's go do it. Let's go. So these are my three favorite drills, which have helped me become a more complete player. These drills are going to focus on your first touch, your finishing, and your fitness. All right, so the first drill that we got today is called the air control drill. This drill focuses on your first touch and your finishing. Basically, we've got a two by two meter space here. It mimics the close spaces which you'd have in a match situation. I'm going to start with a few juggles. And after a few juggles, launch the ball into the air, touch, and finish. <laughs> Two quick tips with this drill. The first tip is scanning. When I mean scan, I mean looking over your shoulder to see if there's opponent. These drills are supposed to mimic real life match situations. So when that ball is in the air, scan left and right of you and then take that touch. Right, the second tip is trapping the ball with backspin. You know you got the perfect trap when there's just a little bit of spin on the ball like so. Alright, so the second drill that we have today is called zigzags. This drill is going to focus on your dribbling at high speeds. It's very simple. You're just going to be weaving in and out of the cones at your highest pace and at the end you're going to do a fast break for about 15 meters. The next drill we're going to do is going to focus on your speed and your fitness. In football, you make a lot of short, sharp changes in direction, and this is exactly what the stop and go exercise will do. This drill is perfect when you've got a limited amount of space, maybe around the home, in your basement, in your garden. You only need four meters. All right, two tips about this exercise. The first is when you approach the cone, stop the ball fully before turning. The second tip is when you go around the cone, keep the center of gravity low. This will help you change direction more quickly. All right, so the three most effective individual drills that you can do at home in order to improve your skills as a football player all delivered by Nick himself from Train Effective. If you want to go give that guy a follow, there's a button right over there that you can click to subscribe. Also, if you want more cool tips on improving your skill levels, see the latest reviews or subscribe to Unisport by clicking the green bubble over my head. Leave us a comment or a like if you had a good time and spread the word by sharing the video with your friends. Nick, it's been a pleasure. Thanks, Jay. We're signing off. Cheerio.